Hello, hello. Today we have something that's been a long time coming. Also, don't worry about this. I just cut myself cooking the other night. Uh, but we have Root the Role Playing Game, and I have the super cool, like, extra deluxe edition. So we'll get into all of this stuff. This was actually a gift from Coco for uh, Christmas a couple of years ago. You know, that's uh, kind of the problem with getting someone a Kickstarter pledge as a gift is it takes quite a while, but I finally have it. So we're going to get into it, and I'm totally going to do some campaigns of this. So I'm, I'm very excited. I've been waiting for this for quite a while. So this is the uh, core book side because I have the deluxe edition deluxe edition and the travelers and outsiders on the other side and as always Kyle's art is gorgeous we have this lovely embossed spine on it with a uh, different colors for the different books and let's pull them out here Oop, do it this way so that they don't get hurt and yeah we have a uh, two quite plain on the back and some lovely lovely illustrations on the inside this might end up actually being my thumbnail because that is gorgeous it's all lovely embossing great art as always and they have the uh the lovely journal style ribbon in them so let's see yeah Ooh, whoa much glossier and stiffer than i expected but uh yeah, it looks like we have, we got different character sheets. We've got all of the various rules. And yeah, we've got running the woodland. Uh, looks like, looks like maybe uh, an example campaign, which is great. Yeah, standard, you know, it is a role playing game. So, it is about 256 with the indices and everything. So that is the core book. And then we have Travelers and Outsiders, which, yeah, looks like it has various other character classes and things. And, uh, looks like even, ooh, I didn't know about that. So you can actually use the game board from the game of Root, which I certainly have. In fact, I'll be getting the uh, expansion hopefully sometime soon. They're shipping it out. It's coming. It's on the ship. So hopefully sometime in late March I'll get it, and then uh, I'll be unboxing that as well. But uh, yeah, looks like we have lots of great stuff to go through here. So that will all go back into this lovely cardboard slipcase ah there we go do, 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 do. all right next we have equipment deck so this does have a tear strip and is in a tuck case inside of the tear strip and so this has a bunch of equipment that you can use in the game all neatly detailed with, of course, more Kyle art. Love his work. And we have Battle Axe, Bird, bird Catcher. Ooh, scary. Club. Ooh, they're sticking together pretty hard. They're quite glossy. Quite glossy. But, uh, yeah. Improvised Weapon, Confused Sense, a bunch of other stuff there. Looks like different references and things. And we have a bunch of info on the back so you can see the cool weapon in full detail and then details about how it works uh, they're a bit sticky as far as cards go but they are a nice thickness decently flexible yeah not a huge fan of the gloss and the way that they kind of clump together but that will work itself out in time so that is the equipment deck. Then we have the Denison's deck, which I'm guessing is like NPCs, right? Yeah, so that if you need to find NPCs for your campaign, you got a whole deck of them right here. The double plastic seems a little excessive, but I'm into it, you know? At least the tear strips work. Everything is nice and fresh.
Yeah, so yeah, we have a bunch. And it looks like they're broken up by the different factions and things. Ooh, Shenrik. Right, Selby. Alfard. Stigur. Stig. Baron Vortig... Vortigernis. Yeah, same quality of cards here. Oh, Dame Royce. And looks like, yep, we got stats and things on the back. And all sorts of fun stuff. And a little thing on how to just make your own NPCs. So that will be super useful, because it's hard to populate a game world with a bunch of NPCs. So you can just basically go through and find what you need. Nice, nice, nice. Very useful. Denison's deck, right there. Then, ooh, 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 we got the faction dice set. Which is a set of D6s. I believe this is uh, an Apocalypse System game? I could be confusing it with something else. Alright, the faction dice set. One pair of six-sided dice for each of the seven different factions. These can be used as six-sided dice for any game, but can't be used with root the game. Well, yeah, that's because it uses D12s. So, whoa. There we go. We have a full set of dice, and each of them, the six side, has a special icon. We got acorns, lizard skulls, some kind of plant, symbols... Um, crown. Uh, or. Or what? Hehehehe. <laughs> um, and they're, yeah, they're all really lovely colors. For both the pips and the die itself. They feel pretty solid. Yeah, they got a decent heft to them. Which is great. Nice, 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 nice. Those are lovely. Ah, this is also great. I'm very excited play a game of this. These are going to be all disorganized for now, but we will come back. I will come back and organize them when I actually get a chance to go through and learn this game. Ooh, it's a chonky guy. All right, then we got the GM screen and campaign notepads, which is always great to have. We have the GM screen, which I will unfold here. Give you guys the panorama. All this lovely stuff with the nice woodland gradient across the back. All these great characters of the Vagabonds. And yeah, here we have a bunch of nice references and notes and things, as all of the best GM screens will give you. And then we have... Two sheets of notepads, right? Or two pad, <laughs> two pads of sheets. The woodland record sheet and the clearing record sheet. So I don't know how the game works quite yet, but those are probably all going to be quite useful. Then we have the clearing booklet, a supplement for Root the RPG. So this is actually a supplement. This is something that you can add to your game. Also, I love this goat. Love that guy. It's got a great look to him. And, uh, yeah, it's a little booklet. Ooh, interesting. It's got, like, a, a linen finish on the cover. Feels nice. It is paperback. And, yeah, it looks like this is... This is just some supplementary adventures for all your guys. Finally, we have... This, which I believe is just maps doesn't say on it. This one also has a, a, a little pouch that's supposed to remain in. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, very glossy. Yeah, these are just different maps that you could use for your game. They're quite glossy, and it looks like they'd be good for dry erase. Yeah, we got plenty of rooms for names and things all over here. So... That is pretty cool. I'll put this away later. It's giving me too much trouble right now. And oh yeah, finally we have a tote bag, which is nice and durable feeling. It's got a lovely strap for over the shoulder and a drawstring so that you can pack away 
all your stuff and take it to your friend's house and play some rude RPG. So that's all the stuff that comes into the deluxe edition. Super excited, as usual. You know, this is technically a collab with Magpie Games, but all of the production is, as always, great. Art is beautiful. Nothing feels cheaper, you know, undervalued or anything. So super excited to get cracking on a campaign of this. So I'm going to have to read through the books and everything, but should be pretty fun. So let me know in the comments. You can check on the Kickstarter page, you know, how much this was and whether or not you think all of this stuff would be worth it. Um... And yeah, let me know any other games you'd want me to unbox. Check out my other unboxings in my unboxing playlist. Check out my other social medias, twitch.tv slash IggyKid and Twitter at IggyDKid. And check out my Twitch archive channel where I have all of my past unboxings. Please take the time to like and subscribe and go play some games. Maybe this game, maybe another game. But whatever game it is, have fun with it. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. A goodbye.